So about 9.29 or 9.22 a.m. this morning, deputies with the Harris County Sheriff's Office was dispatched to a call uh, regarding some sanitation technicians finding what they believe to be a infant baby in the back of a trash compactor inside the truck. Uh, when deputies arrived, they did see or they did find a infant appears to be one to 30 years of age, uh, male inside the bottom of the trash compactor. Uh, what we know at this point is that the trash men were here doing their regular routine rounds. Uh, they had gone down uh, se several streets and had collected some trash. Uh, they got to a point to where they started to, uh, I guess, repack the trash. And when they did that, that's when they discovered the infant in, in the bottom of the trash can. So right now we're out here uh, canvassing the area. Uh, we're trying to, we're going to be talking to a lot of witnesses out here, neighbors out here, and we're trying to establish a good timeline as to when the trash was compacted and when that baby may have ended up in that trash compactor. Uh, but I do want to stress that, you know, there is a, there's, there's a Moses law out there where, you know, if you have a child that, or you have a kid and you don't want to be uh, a burden to that child, you can go to any hospital, you can go to a fire station and drop that kid off with no questions asked. So we're asking anybody out there, if you're in that type of situation, to please do that. Uh, in regards to this incident, we're asking anybody with information regarding this case to contact the Harris County Homicide Office at 713-274-9100 or Crime Stoppers at 713-222-TIPS and that's 8477. So right now, like I said, we're going to be out here for a while. We're waiting on the medical examiner's office to come out and do their investigation. We're going to be combing, combing through the trash of the truck to try to get some clues as to where this uh, the trash may have been originated from with the baby and then kind of go from there. Any you question? Said the baby, you said the baby was one day. You said one, to one day years. to 30 days old. So we confirm this is not a potential miscarriage. It, it, this does not appear to be a miscarriage. It appears to be a full-term baby. You all have kind of a general area. I know this goes with the other day. So the general block street that you're looking at, or at this point. You know, uh, this particular area is comprised of about 400 to 500 homes. Um, so what we're going to do is we're interviewing the, the technicians right now, the, the drivers, to try to get a definite timeline as to when they started, where they started, what, you know, the, the trash that they picked up, and then in, in terms of where they discovered the baby. So we're going to be, we got a range, but uh, we got to confirm that with them. And just be mindful, we don't know if this baby could have been, somebody could have driven it to this neighborhood and dropped it off in the trash. We don't know that. We have no, no, we don't have that information at this point. We're waiting on the medical examiner's office to come out and do their investigation, and they're going to give us a cause of manner of death on the child. Can you take us through the moment right before contacting? It sounds like, is it procedure for them to get off the truck, and that's why they were able to see the baby's body? Or how did that play out? Did they just happen to accidentally be off the truck? Just, you know, my, my understanding, this particular truck, uh, these, these, these operators, what they do is they will, if a trash can is on the side of the road, they would get off the truck, take the trash can and actually dump it. If it's too, if the trash can is too heavy, they would just put it on a, I guess, some type of lift and then let that, the lift dump it. Uh, my understanding is when they went to stop and they went to do a trash compact, that's when they noticed the baby at the bottom of that particular pile. So it's, it's kind of hard to say right now in terms of, you know, the, the area where they, they, the baby was, you know, was found or local, picked up from. So I guess part of this investigation is just trying to figure out exactly the last time they compacted the trash before noticing the trash. Absolutely. That's exactly right. Okay. Right. Will part of the investigation at this point look, be looking for surveillance video? Absolutely. We're, we're going to be out here a while. Uh, we're going to be looking for surveillance videos. We're going to be out here talking to neighbors, knocking on doors. Uh, again, and we're asking anyone that's watching this, this press conference to contact the Sheriff's Department or crime stoppers if you have any information regarding this case. Uh, so we can use some help if anybody has any information regarding that. If there's any kids or children, uh, teenagers that may have been in a situation where this, they may be involved in this, we're asking them to please come forward so we can, you know, f you know figure out how all this happened and, and uh, put it, you know, to figure out how it all happened. So speaking with people in the neighborhood here, they said they had detectives asking them if they've noticed anyone in the neighborhood that might have been pregnant in the last few days. Yes, maybe. yes. That, we have a series of questions in regarding that. We're going to be asking that particular question about anybody being particularly, you know, pregnant or youngster being uh, pregnant at some point. Uh, but there's a lot of questions that we're going to be asking to try to, again, we, we're going to try to narrow that timeline down. And we're going to be knocking on probably every door out here until we can, you know, hopefully we can get some leads from that.
and you said there are hundreds of homes in this area. Yes, sir. So this is where you believe all of this happened, or at least where you started. Absolutely. At this point, that's what we believe it, the, the baby may have come from this particular neighborhood. But again, that doesn't say, that doesn't mean that, you know, somebody could have driven to this neighborhood and dropped that kid off in a trash can, someone that's a trash can. So it, it's, a, it's a daunting task, but, you know, we're up to it and we got to do what we got to do and, and hopefully we can get to the bottom of this. It sounds like it could be a fairly daunting, uh, large investigation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, sir. And you, what, talk to us about the significance of going through the trash bags itself. Is that just trying to see if it can pinpoint things and maybe you can find out an old male or, or some sort of thing yes. involved with where this child is? Yes. What we're going to be doing, once the medical examiner gets out here and do their investigation, examine the child's body and recover the child's body, we're going to take that truck to a secure location and we're actually going to go through each, all of that trash again to try to pinpoint you know, maybe get some addresses, uh, information, billing in information, that kind of thing to kind of give us some leads as to where we need to start looking. Was the newborn in a trash bag with other trash or mm -hmm. just? No, it was just, it was just a naked, naked baby. There was, he was not clothed or anything like that. Do we have an idea of how long the baby may have been deceased? No, sir. That, that's going to be up to the medical examiner's office to determine that. My understanding that the drivers, uh, they actually noticed uh, the, the child about 922 this morning. They called their boss and the boss instructed them to call the sheriff's department. Any questions? Spanish. Spanish. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys.